and we're still doing HR produce. What do I got? We're gonna make spicy dilly bean recipe. So what do we use that for? I don't know. Condiments with uh, snacks, sure. Little things for uh, cocktails, absolutely. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna talk to you about this. This is some giant elephant garlic clove, or as I like to call it, vampire repellent. Now, look at the size of this. That's one clove. Look at the size of this. And that comes from Kid Farms down in uh, Selma, North Carolina. Absolutely fabulous people. I got to meet at the Raleigh Farmer's Market. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do this. And what do we do? Well, first things first, we're gonna make a, a, a brine bath. So what I'm gonna do, um, I don't have pickling salt. But what I have is uh, sea salt with nothing else in it. So that'll work. Um, I doubled the recipe. So we're gonna do four tablespoons of sea salt. We're gonna add I'm sorry, we're going to do eight tablespoons. Eight tablespoons of sea salt or pickling salt. Um, so I've got that, and we're going to dump that in. I have five cups of water, and I'm going to add. I'm going to add four and a half cups, or sorry, five cups of vinegar to make our brine. This is really easy. This is water bath. I'll show you, it'll be a snap. Oh, I made my first non-dad-dad -dad joke. Snap beans, get it? Boom, boom, boom. So we've got five cups of water, five cups of vinegar, and eight tablespoons of pickling salt or sea salt without any of the additives. Be careful with using kosher salt because some of them have anti-caking agents, which are a no-no. So we're gonna make this. How do we make that? First of all, we get our H&R produce green beans, snap them off, and I'm gonna stack them just like that. You stack them tight. And if they're a little crooked, that's all right too, because Everybody's allowed to be a little funny. So anyway, we're gonna stack it up like this. I think these would be great for snacks. I mean, I, I like pickles. I like pickled things. Um, I like pickled Brussels sprouts. You know, just something to, something a little different. So anyway, we stack it in like this and you try to get all the space out. I'm trying to do it long ways so it's easy to grab 
in the jar, but what we're going to do is we're going to let this sit for a couple of weeks and then we'll test it out. Um, but so we stack it up like this. We add a teaspoon of dill seed. And I know some, he said weed. No, it's dill seed. Calm down, Smokey. So, tablespoon of that, or teaspoon. And for the little kick, We're going to add a teaspoon of red pepper flake. Now, are we done yet? No. So, I mean, just look at the size of this elephant garlic. I mean, that's huge. And what I did was I, I put about a third in there. So I'm going to cut this up. I'll save the rest for later. So that's what it looks like. We're going to pour uh, our hot broth over it. Broth. Brine. Brine. Starts with a B. Our hot brine over it. And then we're going to water bath it for 10 minutes. Now the reason we can do that is because of the acidity in the uh, vinegar. We'll, we'll do that and we'll be right back. Yes. All right, so we've got our brine mix here. I'm going to pour it in. So you pour it in just like this. So there's about an inch of head space. We'll put the ring on and I'll show you how to do that right now. So you have your little towel, uh, paper towel with a little white vinegar. Wipe the edge. And see, one of the things I found out was that the new lids, you don't boil them like the old ones. So we just have it like this, and then we put it in a water bath for 10 minutes. Now I got to do that eight more times. gang so we did this for 15 minutes they've been sitting out for a while we're gonna let them uh, marinate for about three weeks and this is some of the other stuff we've done so head out to your local farmers market hit up your gardens start canning and remember be kind be excellent to each other and I'll catch you soon. Have a great day.